If the same voters show up in the runoff election and Democrats follow their gubernatorial candidate's lead, independents Arno Palacios and David Apatang would have at least 61% of the votes to win the election. The coalition is solid. Uh, as you well know, uh, Tina and their press conference made a commitment to support us. But it's unclear how the factions will form. The Republican ticket is also taking a look at the over 4,000 registered voters who did not cast a ballot in the general election, but still can in the runoff. We've been getting supporters from the Independent and as well as the Democrats coming over and saying that they want to support uh, our tandem. Torres Sablon want a debate to help voters decide. I want to, to ask uh, the community and um, perhaps some neutral uh, Browns and, and let's do a debate. He's the one calling a debate, you know, you, you better be ready. I don't think uh, I, I, another debate will help. The sitting governor and sitting lieutenant governor are in a tense race for the Hill to decide who will be moving out in January. Throughout the pandemic, I was the only one working. I mean, if you want to be honest and for me to straight out, you never see a lieutenant governor to edit anything. To me, those statements are real childish really childish and, and almost sophomoric uh, juvenile nonsense. You know, I, the fact of the matter is that uh, what, does it, what does it take for me to be present in, in any of these post-disaster situations? I've been out there just like he was, and I've, I've pointed this out. I don't carry around or I don't drag around a press corps with me. Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.